here with us now to get you, me, and everybody moving is Sarah Taylor of Fitness by Sarah Taylor. Hey, Sarah. Hey. Happy to have you here with us. Thanks for having me. Now, you have a program that is different than what we normally see out there, like on social media, yeah. different fitness clubs. Tell us a little bit about what you do. So I work with Just Women. Um, so I own a studio downtown and I have done things a little bit differently. So I've incorporated fitness okay. with the journey to self-love. Okay. So I work with women on their confidence and self-love while we're working out in reflection time during stretching. And then I've also built classes a little bit different where we have a little bit more rest than most boot camps. And I show modifications ahead of time before wow. we actually start moving so that women know what they can do based on fitness level, if they have injuries, if they're recovering from something, or if they're the just tired from the week, um, you have those modifications ahead of time without having to ask for them. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, sorry guys, sorry <laughs> you're not invited, but no. <laughs> this really to me as a woman I think, and my girlfriends, this is something that we would love too. Now where yeah. did you come up with this idea? Well it really came out of my own journey of I had to go through this journey uh, to self love after a really brutal divorce and so it all started on the inside and then as I started feeling a little bit better about myself, I wanted to physically feel better. So fitness became a part of my life and I realized this whole combination of body, mind and soul and the importance of kind of taking care of all of those elements right. as a woman so that I could really live my best life and live my life out Absolutely. in all my dreams. Yeah. So it's a big journey and you're going to take us on it with a little workout yes. that everybody can yes. do. Okay, let's try it. So the first thing is um, a lot of people think that they have to do something with a lot of weight and a lot of people don't know proper form. So okay. one exercise that I do a lot with my clients is squats. So okay. a couple things, you start with your feet shoulder width apart, shoulders up nice and tight, core is nice and strong. So when people say core is strong, you usually have no idea what that means. I don't have anything <laughs> to do with that. I don't know what that means. So take a deep breath in. Okay. And then as you breathe out, you want to engage everything in here. So you want to engage. <laughs> so you want to keep that engaged while you move. So that's okay. one other thing is that a lot of women struggle with low back issues and a lot of it Me. is related to a weak core. Oh, makes yes. sense. <laughs> so we actually work core in all of our classes because okay. it's so important. So you're going to sit back as if you're sitting in a chair. Okay. So bum goes back, driving your knees out and going as low as you can, keeping your weight in your heels. Okay. Driving up, squeezing your bum and coming up. So that's a basic squat. Some people can't go to the ground. That's fine. You start with where you can, right? right? But you want to maintain that proper form, the core, the core. sitting back. Yeah. <laughs> and then some modifications is if you're at home and you can't get all the way down, um, you can hold the chair in front of you. Oh, okay. So for some stability. Some stability because some people are just a little uneasy with the sitting back yep. aspect. Or you can just practice sitting in a chair or your couch. Okay. to get you moving and get started. So that would be something you could even do, let's say, if you were watching TV, you could yep. kind of, if you're exactly. watching right now, you could do it with that, <laughs> Exactly. Right? Okay, and any fitness level could do and that. And any fitness level All those can. different modifications. Yes. Perfect. Um, and then you can add things like weights. So I'll give you a kettlebell. Okay. So same sort of thing. Um, another kind of squat is widening your feet a little bit and toes slightly pointed out. This is called a sumo or a plie squat. Okay. Same form. And you're going to head down and squeeze your bum to come Ooh, up. I felt that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it just goes to show that there are a few different ways to do an exercise um, based on your fitness level, your strength, or if you have any injuries. But it is really important to start where you're at and right. listen to your body. Okay. So that's my favorite exercise move. Okay. Um, what else you got for us? I'm going to show you how to do a deadlift with a row. So Okay, that uh, sounds intimidating, a deadlift. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to walk you through. I'm going to have you do it with a resistance band, and I'm going to show you with weights. Okay, so we have options. Yes, like you so said. that's the other thing is, so if you're at home and you don't have weights, resistance bands are a really great option because they're really cheap. This is like $4. Wow, okay. And it just adds a little more resistance as you work up from just doing body weight. Okay. So I'm going to have you put that around your feet. Yeah. I'll do it as well just to make it a little easier. So you're going to put it on your feet. Okay. Got it. You're going to grab on the ends. Okay. Okay. So when you're down here, your back is nice and flat and your uh -huh. shoulders are nice and tight as opposed to rounded shoulders. You are going to squeeze your bum as you come up. <gasps> yes. <laughs> okay. So this it's essentially a sensation. is a basic, the basic form of doing a deadlift. Okay. Okay. So you can start with this. You can also do it without the band. 
and that would be like a good morning. Oh, Wake those hamstrings okay. up. <laughs> and then if you want to add to it, you can add a row. Okay. So head down, and while you're down here, row up. Wow. Okay, and so we could also do this with a kettlebell, you were exactly. saying. Exactly. So All with right. a kettlebell, it would look like this. Again, core is nice and strong. My shoulders are back. Head down, row up. Wow. Okay, so and you got back two up. more moves for us yes, too. Yes, Let's do. see those. Okay, so we've got push-ups. So okay. push-ups can also seem intimidating, especially if you see men do them okay. on your toes. So we're gonna start on our knees. So you're gonna be on your knees, yep. lean forward. A couple things that people forget about is your core needs to be strong. Otherwise your back dips, which will hurt your back. Right. And keeping your bum squeezed, which will also help keep your back straight. You're going to bend at your arms and go as low as you can and push up, okay? Now that can seem difficult for some people, especially if you're not doing anything. You can also do them in a box position. Okay, so this on is all the one fours, because like. then you're not holding up as much of your body weight, and then you're gonna head down. Okay. The other option, the next level down, would be doing it on your wall. Oh, wow, so okay. So if you were standing against your wall, you could stand, be on your toes and do your push up from there. All right, I'll give that one a go. I, li <laughs> I like the box. I like that yes. they have the options. So your fourth and final move? Is a mountain climber. Oh. So <laughs> this also <laughs> seems super intimidating, so yeah. I also have a couple okay, options that see. I show clients. So the first option, this is more advanced, is on the ground. And so you're going to get your plank position. So your hands underneath your shoulders, core nice and strong, pop your legs out, and you're going to run them in. Okay, so this can get tiring really quickly, uh -huh. and you're holding up all your body weight. Okay, yes, but no, there are other options. Okay, let's see, so let's see the options. So the standing mountain climber is like you're actually climbing a mountain. Okay. So I would be doing opposite hand opposite. I'm not to very opposite coordinated. leg. I'm not very <laughs> wow, well thank you so much no problem. Sarah. For inspiration, fitness classes, programming, and so much more, you can visit sarahtaylor.com. Up next we have a community for women to share their stories and support. Woo girl, I'm, <laughs> I'm out of breath. Just from this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Sarah. No problem.